You know, I think of encouragement. Part of what I think about is just the incredible beauty of the flowers here in Portland. It's just, I, I just love what happens here. I could take you a walk around my yard and show you some amazing things. But another thing I find happening that I find so encouraging uh, is this passage in Philippians chapter 4. Because in all the stuff that's going on, the news will start here in a little bit, and it's a 24-hour cycle, and it's clear full of, oh my gosh, disasters right around the corner. If it's not COVID-19, it's unemployment. If it's not unemployment, it's the oil is going, prices are dropping, and things are going into terrible states. I mean, it's just awful. And I just find that there's such a fascination to that sort of thing happening. They're just, it's... Uh, there's, there's a, I don't know what to say, there's a perverse drawing, a, an enticement that comes with bad news. But I find myself thinking here with Paul, what sort of things are good? What sort of things are lovely? And look at the flowers here in my yard and I listen to the birds what sort of things are lovely? What things are good? What sort of things are, are real? And it's a spiritual discipline for me as kind of a news junkie is to think in terms of lovely things. People, creation, good things that people are doing, Incredible stories I'm hearing of grace of people reaching out to people with just everyday help. What sort of things are good, lovely? Think on these things. Well, pay attention to the news, yeah, but ponder, dwell in, love, lovely things. It's the way of Jesus.